What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to get game updates installed on a 4.05 console and also 4.55 so you can follow this tutorial if you're on 4.05 and if you're on 4.55 to install game updates. And uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can update your games so right now I'm going to show you guys how to update both Ghosts and Advanced Warfare. Now this process will be the same for every game so don't worry about it. Um, but just to show from the get go that we have we are on the base version. So Advanced Warfare is on version 1.00. Ghosts is on version 1.00 as well. And we want to update these both to the latest update. Now we can't obviously do that from PSN because we can't connect to PSN without downloading the latest firmware which will prevent us from uh, from doing our jailbreak and our, our kernel exploit. So yeah, how do we do it? So what we're basically going to do is we're going to download the update file manually, we're going to put it on a USB stick and we're going to install it that way through the debug settings on the console. I'll walk you through it all, it's uh, fairly straightforward although with larger updates there's, a, there's an extra step that we have to do. So anyway, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so on the computer, what you're going to want to do is head to one of these two websites. So we've got the PlayStation 4 Package Finder here on orbismodding.com. There's also this one here on uh, ps4.oculus.net uh, forward slash search. So basically, all you want to do is search for the title ID of the game. Now you'll find the title ID of the game on the spine of the case itself. You can just look it up on the internet as well. It will be C-U-S-A and then a, then a five digit number. So GOSA, for example, is C-U-S-A 00025. Um, and bear in mind the title ID is different depending on the region. So a US copy of the same game will be a different ID. So the US version of Call of Duty GOSA will be a different title ID. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click search and that's going to come up with uh, information about the game along with the latest update which is 1.20 and this is basically patch 0 so there's only one update file for ghosts um, for the latest version and all you have to do is click here to download it and it starts downloading simple as that so now on the other one you can actually just search for the game name which is pretty handy so you don't even need to know um, what the title ID is with this one, all you have to do is type in, say, Call of Duty. Say we're looking for Advanced Warfare, and then it comes up with the EU versions, the US versions, so I'm wanting the Advanced Warfare European version. Now also bear in mind that if you have a European version of the game and you download, like, the US update, um, then it's not going to be compatible, so it's not going to update the game if the regions are mismatched. So you need to make sure, if you have like the US version of the game, that you're downloading the US update for that game. Okay, so Advanced Warfare, View Patches and Information, and then you'll get the download. So as you can see here, there's two update pieces. There's uh, 0 and 1, there's two of them, 4 gigabyte and a 2.2 gigabyte. So you just click to download them both, and they start downloading. Um, you could download them faster in a download manager like EagleGet is a pretty good one as well that you can use to download these. So yeah, that's basically how you get the updates. Okay, so I've got, the th I've got these three package files downloaded now. So we've got the update for Ghosts, which is just one package file. And I've also got um, the Advanced Warfare one, which is in two package files. Now, the Ghosts one will install absolutely fine. There's no problem with that. However, the Advanced Warfare one... Um, as I'll show you right now, as you can see, if you try and install just one of these package files, just either the first one or the second one, you'll get an error as soon as you try to install it, and that's because they need to be merged into one package file. They're meant to be one file, but they come in different uh, parts, essentially. So you have to merge them into one part. So whenever you have uh, more than one part, they need to be merged into one. So you can do this with P PS4 AIO, um, and inside PS4 AIO there's a package merging utility and essentially all you need to do is get your package files uh, your multiple parts so 0 and 1 and drag them in here 
Uh, if click and drag doesn't work for you, just uh, click on add package files and browse for them uh, manually. Then what you want to do is put in a output path somewhere to save that to. So I'm just going to use this folder here in my documents as my output path. You can click browse to, uh, you know, uh, browse for a location to save it. Then all you have to do is click start and that will start merging the two package files into one. So as you can see it started now and you can see it's been built here in the output folder. So part one of two. Now this isn't going to take too long for me because these files are on my SSD. If you're on a hard drive it might take considerably longer. Um, so you just have to you know, be patient and wait for it to finish. But it shouldn't take long here on an SSD so any second now it should be done. There we go, merging successful. And now you can see I have a 6.5 gigabyte uh, package file and that is the combination of part 0 and part 1. So 4 gigabytes and 2 gigabytes to our 6 gigabyte file. So this is both parts combined into one now. So now we've done that we can put these updates on a USB stick and get them installed on the console. So all we're going to do is we're going to open up or a USB stick. Now make sure the USB stick is formatted in either FAT32 or XFAT format, not NTFS. If it is NTFS, you can right click, click on format, change it to XFAT or FAT32. And then all you wanna do is just copy our merged package file in here. Okay, so actually you don't wanna use FAT32 because FAT, I forgot, FAT32 can only support files up to four gigabytes and this file is a lot bigger than four gigabytes. So in this case, we are gonna to need to format this into XFAT, which will allow for larger file sizes. So XFAT, I'm gonna format that. There we go, format complete. Now I should be able to copy our package file over. And then we're also going to copy our ghosts update as well into the same directory. And make sure you're putting these package files on the root of the USB. Don't put them in any folders in the USB. Just put them in the root of the drive. Okay, so now that we're back on the PS4, what you're going to want to do is head into the internet browser. And Okay, so once you're on the WebKit, what you're going to want to do is load up the WebKit exploit. Now, if you're on 4.05, select 4.05 and enable HEN, which is the homebrew enabler. Now, that's just to enable the debug settings. We don't need the actual homebrew enabled uh, for this. We just need the debug settings. Now, if you're on 4.55, then just select 4.55 and do the same thing, run the homebrew enabler. Okay, and when it says you're all set, that means that the homebrew should now be enabled. So if you head to settings, scroll down to the bottom, we now have the debug settings enabled. And I'm just going to plug in my USB stick Okay, and then we want to go into game and then package installer. And when you do that, the packages that you have on your USB stick should show up. So Call of Duty Ghost, let's go ahead and press A to install it. And it'll start installing the Call of Duty Ghost package file. So all you have to do is do this with each of your updates that you want to install and then wait for that to get to 100%. Okay, so Call of Duty Ghost updates almost finished. So any second now it should be finished. There we go, installed, 1.20 installed. Okay, so now for Advanced Warfare. So if you remember correctly, when I showed you earlier on with when, it, when I tried to install part zero, it didn't work. Um, but because this is now both parts merged into one, when I press uh, X to install it, as you can see, it starts installing no problem now. Um, so very important that you um, that you remember that step with larger updates to merge them into one file. And again, we just wait for this to finish installing as well. All right, guys, so here we go. That is Advanced Warfare also installed. So, okay, so what we can do now is just go ahead and check information on Ghosts. And there you go, you can see it's now on version 1.20 and Advanced Warfare information is now on 1.23, fully updated. Now, just to show, we'll put in Ghosts here. And we'll start it up and we'll see, we'll know we'll have the latest update installed for Ghosts. It's very obvious as soon as you go on the, the main menu, we should have um, Extinction showing up in the menu. Because uh, normally the base version of Ghosts, you can only access Extinction by completing the campaign, I think. 
Um, it's definitely not available on the main menu, but in the later updates for the game, it was put in that, put into the main menu so that you didn't have to go through all the whole campaign to access it. So there we go, Extinction. So you can see we are updated to the latest version, uh, which should be 3.15, I believe, if we look at the, yep, the version in the bottom right, 3.15.146. So that is it. That is how you go ahead and install updates on a 4.05 PS4 that cannot connect to PSN. You can still get your latest game updates. Although you've got to bear in mind with newer games like Call of Duty Black Ops 3, some of the later updates are for newer firmwares and you won't be able to install them on a 4.05 console. Um, so you'll be able to install some updates for, for Black Ops 3, but then once it gets to the point where you're trying to install updates that came out on a newer firmware version than 4.05, then they won't allow you to basically install unless you're on a higher firmware. But uh, you can still get some updates for Black Ops 3, just not the latest one. Uh, so yeah, uh, but older older games like Ghost and Advanced Warfare are fine. You can update them to the latest version. So anyway, that is how you go ahead and update games on a 4.05 PS4. If you enjoyed this video or found the information useful, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.